vulnerable to miss it entirely, to get completely upset, but needs to, do you think needs a good race or needs to prove something based on what they've done so far in this season? Needs to prove themselves. I think this may sound crazy, but I think NAU needs to prove themselves. And it's not that they need a Drew Bosley, Abdi Hamid uh Nico Young. They don't need to prove anything. I think NAU needs to, to make sure that they have two other guys. And, mm-hmm. you know, Theo Quacks, Ryan Raff, Brody Hasty, none of those guys ran at their conference meet. I would assume one or two or three of them will run at this meet. You just want to see yep. a good run from two other guys that aren't named from their top three. Because mm-hmm. I've been looking into it uh, lately, comparing them to Notre Dame. I know I took Notre Dame off the they're not winning list, but I kind of <laughs> have reshuffled ever since I had those takes. I mean, I'll probably bring this up in the next cross-country show. But I do think uh, – it's going to be either Notre Dame, NAU, or Oklahoma State that wins on the men's side. And one thing I, I did in an analysis where I just basically removed everyone's top three runners. Like Oklahoma yeah. State's top three, Notre Dame's top three, NAU's top three. NAU, it will have an advantage when you score through three because they're going to, you know, their their top three is better than anyone else's top three. But the advantage isn't going to be much. It's going to be 10 points, maybe. 10, 15 points. Yeah. So it's going to be make upable. The question is Oklahoma State's 4 5 versus Notre Dame's 4 5 versus NAU's 4 5. And so what I looked into is I looked at everyone's 4, 5, 6, 7 runners and I kind of like created a chart. I looked at their track times. I looked at how they did last championship. I looked at how they did in the spring outdoor season. And I looked at how they did in this regular season in the fall cross country. And the crazy thing is they all have their strengths and weaknesses, right? If it's purely based off of what happened last year, Notre Dame's the favorite. If it's based off of what happens on the track, NAU's the favorite. If it's based off of what's happened like this year kind of in cross country, Oklahoma State's the favorite. It's so there's yeah. like – they all have their strengths and weaknesses. So that's going to be the question, right? Um, who has the best four or five? Ultimately, it's who has the best four because that's the ultimate trend um, because the five will just go along with it. But I think NAU needs to give me another data point to show that they have a better four or five than what they've shown because uh, Raf and Theo Quacks and Brody Hasey haven't really – I mean, we know Brody ran yeah. well last year, but he hasn't run well this year. We know Theo ran a good pre-Nets, but he ran bad two years ago at Nationals. We yeah. know Ryan Raff is a a strong runner, but he fell apart at Nationals. So it's like, ah, what, what are we going to get? So that's, I, in a weird way, the, the team trying to win five and seven years, or five and six years, is the team I'm most uh, <laughs> worried about at Regionals. 